In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can create a quiz with its answer key. This is a perfect digital product that you can sell as a printable file, whether you're a homeschooling content creator or you just want to sell educational products to families, parents, you name it. There are people out there like me that purchase these types of products. And so let's learn how to create them. Let's get started. This file that I use is an eight by 11, but we're going to go ahead and start from scratch. What we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and click on create a design at the top. And then I'm going to choose a custom size. The custom size is eight by 11 inches. The first thing that we're going to do is under design, we're going to search on that search bar where it says search templates. We are going to choose, sorry, type in the word quiz. Okay. Now, as you can see here, and we're scrolling down, there are plenty of quiz templates to choose from. All you have to do is go ahead and choose one. I went ahead and used this one right here where it says the atmosphere. When you click on a template, you go ahead and, and, uh, and click on the option where it says apply both pages. The reason why I want to click on that is because one, I'll show you now. Let me go ahead and click on apply both pages and you'll see. The first one is the, the quiz, the actual quiz. And this page number two is the answer key. We're going to go ahead and modify this information in just a moment. Now that we have chosen a template, we need to figure out what is this type of quiz going to be. In my household, we like reading a lot of books. We are all about literature. So what, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go to ChatGPT and I am going to ask ChatGBT to create a quiz with, let's say, five questions based on the book of The Lion, the Witch, and the, the Wardrobe. So let's go ahead and type that in. Okay, create a five quiz, five question quiz based on the book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And then I have Grammarly, so it'll always um, do the editing for me. Create a five question quiz based on the book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, highlighting five key points of the book. Provide an answer key. Now it's going to give me all the questions. Okay, but here, as you can see here, it has multiple choice. I don't want multiple choice. Let me go ahead and stop this right now. You see, I don't, in this case, I don't want multiple choice, uh, a multiple choice quiz, but rather I want it to be uh, just lines for them to answer. So it's going to be a create a five question quiz, not multiple choice. Okay, not multiple choice. So let me go ahead and I already edited that prompt and now let's see what chat gbt generates for me here is a five question quiz for the line the witch and the wardrobe highlighting key events and themes now this is what i am looking for quiz questions what is the significance of the wardrobe in the story and who is the first child to discover it describe how edmund's relationship with the white witch begins and explain how she deceives him okay this is exactly what we're looking for and then we have the answer key right here very simple very basic so let's go ahead and start creating our quiz let's go to our document and we're going to start modifying it so here we are going to write let's say you want to title it the lion i don't know how to type today the witch and the wardrobe okay let me go ahead and minimize that and then expand it we're going to remove this and let me go to elements and we're going to add some, some elements let's say maybe a lion perhaps we could do a lion and then we can leave the lion here. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let me go ahead and type in Narnia. Let's see what comes up. 
Oh, that is so cool. The wizard. Okay, they have wizard. Oh, that's pretty cool. Now, let me go ahead and stick with the lion. Here, it says, how much do you know about the atmosphere? I'm going to remove that question. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Answer the following questions. Let me go ahead and move this up a little bit. Perfect. Now, all we're going to do is copy and paste each question onto the first page. So let's go ahead and do that. You see, in this case, we're going to have to modify these lines and bring them down so that we can have it doesn't look off. Perfect. Now we're going to go to the next one. Question number two. Copy and paste. Again, we're going to modify these lines, bring it down, and do the same thing for the other one. Okay, wonderful. Now, number three. We're going to copy that and paste it over here. And just do the same thing over and over again until we are done with our quiz and modifying it and making it our own. Okay, now number four. Whoa. This is how I like to do it. I mean, there's other ways that you can do this. You can go ahead and uh, you don't have to do the copy and paste. You can copy and paste it once. So you can go ahead and do that and then you modify it. But I love the fact that in this template, the template already has everything. It has the lines in here. All I have to do is copy and paste the questions and answers, of course. Okay, so we have that. Now, number five. Okay, copy and paste. Uh, and then on this template, there's actually an additional question. So I'm just going to go ahead and make up my own question. What did you enjoy most about this book? Okay, great. And now let's say I want to go ahead and change the colors on the numbers. And I can, as you can see here, where it says photo colors, it, extract, it extracted the colors from the lion. So we can go ahead and use the orange on all these numbers. I'm doing it one by one so that you can see what I'm doing, where I'm getting it from. Perfect. And now we are done with our quiz. It was that simple. Now we're going to go ahead and click on page number two here in Canva. We're going to go ahead and start building our answer key. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this. We're going to go here. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it here. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and remove that image. And maybe this time, let's say, let's say, which, let's see if we can find a witch. Or we could do a hat. We can do the hat. Something simple. Let's see do the hat now all we're gonna do again let me go ahead and delete this and we're gonna go ahead and add the questions but now with the answers included so again all we're gonna do here is copy copy and paste copy and paste let's get to it
We are done copy and pasting the questions and answers. And now all that's left is just minimal editing of the spacing between these, uh, like the questions and the answers. And you can go ahead and customize it however you'd like. You can continue to do this for different books. So for example, let's say you want to create an entire booklet and you are creating a reading program for the summer. Then what you would do is go ahead and add a page here in the front of your booklet. Go ahead and click on the first page. We're going to go ahead and copy. Well, we're going to go ahead and copy this, the, the, the title of the book. We're going to go ahead and paste it. Whoa, it didn't paste. Copy and paste. We paste it here. And that way that's the first quiz. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. And then here we're going to write quiz number one. And then you can do different books and that's going to be like the, the reading program for the summer. And it could be The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. There's another really good book. I'm actually looking at it, looking at it right now. It's called The Fort by Gordon Corman, which is really great. Then there's The Mystery of Black Hollow Lane. So there are different books that you can create. You can create this whole like quiz and answer key for a homeschooling family. And maybe it's like a five book uh, booklet with five different quizzes with or five different books and you can sell it as a digital printable file. Another great idea when it comes to quizzes is creating a quiz in the form of a presentation. Let me go ahead and show you. We're going to go ahead and click on create a design and this time we're going to choose presentations. Under presentations we are going to use, we'll go, type in quiz. Under quiz, we're going to click here where it says quiz presentation. These are actually very cool if you're a homeschooling family and you want to go ahead and deliver a quiz in a more fun way, or you can even create games. Let me go ahead and click on this one where it says quiz time. And let me go ahead and click and apply all. Okay. When you click and apply all, all of the pages are applied. This is what a presentation, a quiz presentation will look like. So the first page is just your, like your, the name of the quiz. You can go ahead and name instead of quiz time. You can go ahead and name it something else. Then the second page is directions. Write your name on top of the, your paper. Number your paper from one to eight. Stay quiet and in your seat, raise your hand if you need any help. The cool thing about something like this is that whether your children or whether you're selling this in the form of a program, you can go ahead and create your presentation. And along with it, you can create the actual printable quiz. Instead of a kid just writing on a regular white sheet of paper, you can go ahead and customize the paper to look like the presentation. That way, the teacher, the parent can go ahead and print it out and they can go ahead and do it along with the presentation. So you would present question number one, and this is your question, and they would have to pick A, B, C, or D. They have to go ahead and either write it down on their paper in a blank sheet of paper, or if you created that worksheet that goes along with this presentation, with this quiz presentation, they can go ahead and just select A, B, C, and D. Now, if you want to bring this quiz to life and make it interactive, you can by using near life tech. Go ahead and you can go ahead and uh, go online, start searching this, uh, this AI powered uh, software. It actually gamifies or makes anything interactive. You can turn that presentation into an interactive presentation by using Near Life. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down below. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that you got some ideas and it just sparked new digital product ideas in your mind that you can go ahead and execute and launch in 2025. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. God bless.